Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I have a uh, recognition. Why are we here today, right? Yes, why are we here today? <laughs> to serve, delight, and engage our members while they shop their way. Hey. All right, this is what members first look like to me. Steve here, he was helping a lady down in tools. Um, she came in, she wanted to do Shop Your Way. She didn't have an email address. <laughs> um, so Steve, he took her over to a kiosk and signed her up for an email right there on the spot. And she was so thankful. She got all of her points, and she actually turned around and actually bought accessories in behind that and used her points for that. And that is learn and innovate and being authentic because she was just so thankful. So we drove a profitable sale? Absolutely. Yep. And pushed accessories. So that's what learning and innovate looks like. That's know. what learning and innovate looks that's like. Good job. Yeah. 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 I'm proud of Rebecca because that's her first story. So she, she's going to she's going to get really good at it. I'm telling you because uh, you know it's going to take a little bit of gumption on all of our parts to to get involved in the storytelling process more. I mean, you guys don't want to hear us. We're just a bunch of loudmouth store managers and ASMs. We want to hear from you guys because you guys know what what happens out there on the front line. But today, if we look at uh, where we uh, ended yesterday. Uh, we had a decent day yesterday. It wasn't anything to write home about, but we had another nice day in PAs. We were double digits there. You guys had a very good day in credit again, so the cashiers are just out of their minds. <laughs> we're missing some of the numbers, but the accessories that we got yesterday, again, the attachment rate was very good. It was right at 50%, I think, at the end of the day, so can't complain about that. And when I look at the dollars against uh, our net sales, the accessories and attachments are really starting to mount up. And then... Recap sales. Got a couple of those over the weekend, which really is starting to drive that number. So I see a lot of positive things there. And as you look in our, I'm going to call this the crown room. We, it's not a war room for us. It's a crown room because we're the Kennesaw Kings. Say so, yeah, Kennesaw yeah. Kings. Yeah. We're going to be the Kings. Nobody's crowned us yet. We're going to crown ourselves when we get when we get to be the best. That's what we're working towards, right? right. Kevin wants us all to uh, strive to be the best, and that's where we're going to be. We're going to be the Kings. So we're, we're going to earn our name. So. We're going to go ahead and use it, though. It'll make us feel good, right? <laughs> so we're going to be the Kennesaw Kings. So today, our store goal is $40,000 for a Tuesday. That's pretty hefty, Johnny. Yeah, that's, pretty that's pretty hefty. And if you look down the line at, at what we got to do, whoop, I just lost I lost everything I had there. Rebecca, will you hit it again for me? That kind of stuff happens. Oh, it didn't, it didn't take. That's all right. A little speed bump. There we go, back to that. HA, well, boy, we need some help there. We have struggled mightily this month. We're down about 30% in home appliances. And with that Sears Days app we got, we could really do good there. We've got to do 15000 a day. Then, and then HE and CE, as we look down the line here, about 1500 there. Uh, mattresses, about 2000 Over in uh, vacuums, we've got a pretty hefty day, about 3600 there. Tools, 2500 Lawn and garden, I guess about 8,000, so if you add those two together, we need to do about 11 there today. So we've got a pretty hefty day there as well. Sporty goods, you top that off, more like 12. And then wearing apparel, spring has sprung, right? Sure. Easter's over, now we're heading into the end of the warmer months, and we've got to really try to strive to, to get uh, the spring apparel selling right now as we start heading towards summer. And we got $1.99. Clear. Green tea can start yes. today. Dollar, that's, that's a clear. big deal, so... Think about that. We're going to try to liquidate the rest of that very quickly over the next couple of days. It won't take long. It normally doesn't. And then fine jewelry. Marilyn, you only got less than a thousand to do there. We certainly need some diamond sales. Can you can you get us a big diamond yeah, sale let's today? Get one. I'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lands End. Uh, looks like about a thousand there. Where are they at? Where's our Lands End representative? Can you do it, Sprayberry? Easy. She can easily do it, so that's good. So I want to run in real quick and look at uh, a couple of things that we, we talk about the engagement survey uh, that we just got back and uh, just got a letter this morning uh, from Lena Moonjal, who is uh, everybody saw on the, on the video during the culture uh, cascade that we had. But uh, Lena wanted to thank everybody for participating in the engagement survey. We had 80 associates and six staff members take that survey, so I appreciate your uh, feedback there. But she wanted to stress how important it is to our financial results that we're an engaged team. And, uh, the local engagement priority, uh, action priority, we're going to be working on that as we go through. And it looks like as we look at it initially, a lot of, of the store feels like 
we need to have a better recognition program in the store. So hopefully with the focus recognition and then some other things we're going to do, we want your feedback. How can we have better recognition in the store? How can we make our associates feel more valued? And that's what Lena's talking about, because when everybody feels valued and they feel uh, happy to be at work, then our results uh, will, will have an uptick because of that. So no matter where we work, if we feel good and we're having fun, the results are better. That makes sense, right? Everybody tries to do a better job when they feel good. So we're going to be asking for your feedback on that. But uh, uh, one thing I wanted to read that she said is it's been her pleasure over the past several weeks to meet and spend time with the leadership teams uh, talking about the culture. And our region, district, and store teams are comprised of knowledgeable, talented, and energetic retail associates with a true members first mindset. Um, I appreciate their enthusiasm for our business and member programs, their pride in the people who work in our stores, and their excitement about the cultural transformation we're leading. So through participation in those Cascade training, every associate in our stores learn about job-specific expectations to serve, delight, and engage our members <coughs> Excuse me, while they shop their way. So we'll be making Shop Your Way a much bigger part of the store experience going forward, equipping you with tools and training you need to make shopping easier and more informed for our members. And it says, I encourage you to take every opportunity to understand culture, our mission, key results, and cultural beliefs, and your role in owning it. So do we own it here at Kennesaw? Yes, yes, sir. All right, I think we do. We just got we got to get out there and let the rubber hit the road and show what we can do. So, you know, tie all of that back in, engagement, and how engaged we are and how it drives results. I, I ask you to go back and look at your A2 Actions playbook. And every day, each one of these cultural beliefs, how do we make it come to life with the A2 Actions that are on your sheet? If you don't have it, see me after, after the rally this morning. I'll get you another copy of it. But I really think we've got to focus on this. And when you're doing gap assessments every day as to where you need to improve, what actions do you need to take around the cultural beliefs to make that happen? So take time to look at that. And as we're doing our MEL program, we're walking around, we're observing, talking to you guys throughout the day. I may ask you, you know, what are you working on today? So, Steve, you know this month how you're doing. What do you need to work on today? I need to work on PAs, giving uh, value at a glance to uh, the customers as we see it more often, like on, on the weekend. We have a nice photocopy there, but give it to fellow associates or use it myself. Use value at a glance a little bit better. So, he knows using the tools <laughs> makes a difference out there. So, you know, I'll be asking for examples of that as we walk through. What are you going to do different today that would impact something that maybe you have a gap on? So, using the focused accountability tools, see it, own it, solve it, do it. And then also, as I talked yesterday, asking for some feedback from your peers or from the management team. So, you know, we got to start getting engaged with these cultural tools, using them more. You know, we're, we're done cascading now. It's time to put them into practice. So can I get a commitment from everybody that will do that as we head out today? Yes. Can we do that? What about you, Kenneth? Can I hear you? Yes. yes. Sir. Oh, I think so. All right. You got some focus recognition for us, BJ? I have two people I'd like to, or we should all recognize. Um, they made Best of Blue last month. Elise. Actually, has made it 13 times. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, also, Cone made it seven times. So wow. awesome. so I, posted a, I posted a comment on, on Pebble this morning. If you're going and look at the store Pebble side and also on the region Pebble side, hopefully you guys are getting more engaged with Pebble. But go on there and take a look at it and reply to my post in there and let those guys know how important that was. I mean, that's a good... A good thing that they did is something very uh, I don't want to say hard to do but you got to really be focused around the cultural and driving results to make that best of blue and both of them did they'll probably take you lunch because they made a lot of money doing that <laughs> <laughs> uh, get with both of those guys but go on there to Pebble and let them know how you think or how you feel about what they did I think it would mean a lot to them if, if their peers recognize them they hear it from us all the time but if you guys go in there and say man nice job but Look on the region pebble side. You can reply to my post or on the store pebble side. I put it on both of them this morning for you guys to look at. But start getting engaged and looking at pebble every day and let's all get more in involved in that. What do you think, Dustin? Can we do that? Absolutely. Yeah, and he's working with the LP team to do the same thing. So that's something we can all work on as we head out today, tomorrow, and throughout the rest of the week. Really need you guys to get more engaged with pebble. Can we do it? Yes. yes. All right, let's bring it all in. we got to get out on the floor, so let's bring it in for the Kennesaw Kings. One, two, three, Kings, right? One, two, three, Kings! All right, let's go! Okay. Yeah, sign the cards before we walk out today.